Hi, right, everybody. Happy New Year. I hope you had a good one this year and a safe one. Now, <clears throat> having said all that, this year, I want to try different things, obviously make new stuff culinarily, blah, 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 blah. We want to be better every year. And this year, I'm thinking about maybe making a video talking about how to take care of your things, sharpening knives, this, that, and the third, but that's later on. Today, we have to make some food. Now, I was stuck until a lovely viewer of ours. Thank you so much. I'm sorry I don't have your name on hand. I should be more prepared. But a lovely viewer of ours decided, hey, could you make pancakes de patatas? I said, sure. Why not? So we're going to be making a Spaniard dish. Here is the pancake de patatas or potato pancake. To start off the year right, kitchen hack. Use a small bit of wax paper if you're gonna peel anything. Here, I'm gonna peel about four potatoes, since I'm cooking for myself and I don't need that much. We then cut these Carolina potatoes, that's what these little yellow ones are called, cut them in half. And after that, we cut them into half moons, nice and thin. After we finish cutting the potatoes and allow them to be cleaned under cool water, let's work on the onion. We need one Spanish or yellow onion, Again, since it's only me, I'm going to be using a quarter of this onion. Again, slicing it to half moons and we'll move on to the next step. Nothing to flash about this part, folks. We're going to add in extra virgin olive oil into this pan on medium-high heat. Right after we add the oil, we're going to drop in the onions. Now that the onions are sizzling, we're going to drop in the potatoes. Now hold on. Dry those clean, wet potatoes. Hot oil and water do not mix. Please dry them off on a pan with paper towels underneath, patting them dry, then spreading them out. What do I always say, folks? Kitchen safety, that's right. Now, we add the dry potatoes, cover with a lid that fits, uh, close enough. All right, we're at the midway point now, guys. This dish, doesn't seem that difficult. Uh, we're getting to the seasoning portion and I'm gonna see, I'm gonna do some extra things. But right now I don't like a lot of uh, oil on my dishes. So I'm gonna let that sit there for a minute. Let it soak up in that paper towels cause uh, that's a lot of oil. I don't like that much oil. So let me prepare everything else. While that's happening, voiceover on will take over. Voiceover on. Now that we have our patatas, potatoes, and onions on this pan drying, let's crack some eggs. Here, I'm cracking about five eggs. Now the recipe only asks for salt as a seasoning, so I went ahead and added that salt, and then some garlic powder, and then some chili powder. Mixed until homogenous. First homogenous of the year, by the way. <laughs> I'm pulling out this glass bowl just so you can see everything become incorporated. I'm placing the potato mix into the eggs, and with the wooden spoon, I'm gonna crush it up. Now in a smaller pan, add in the leftover oil to your new pan on medium-low heat. Place your egg mixture with the spatula. Work the sides of the eggs as to not to get stuck. Cook for about three to five minutes, then move on to the next step. Alrighty folks, so I'm working the edges of this omelet to make sure it doesn't get stuck. Gonna go ahead and add some pepper over the top just because I like a little more seasoning. Now off camera, I found the plate big enough to put over the pan and give it a flip. I'm gonna add a little bit more oil onto my pan and then right after that, gingerly slip the omelet onto the pan for another three to five minutes. And after that, let's have a piece. Alrighty guys, and there we have it. The omelet de patatas or potato omelet. It's really simple, three ingredients max, not including like the seasonings or whatever. And it only asks for salt as a seasoning, but I added the pepper, some garlic powder, some chili powder. I'm sure you can add like bacon bits into this thing, some ham, some fresh cheese crumbled over the top, some feta or cotija, some fresh uh, um, cream over the top, some beans refried, get out of here. That's enough out of you. All right, you know what? Enough out of my own trap. 
Let's see how this tastes. Getting ahead of myself. That's good. Wow. That's real wow. In any event, guys, thank you so much. Hope to see you this coming year, and thanks for watching.